So are we live? Is this it? You're in the show. Everyone can see and hear you. Let's see. Yes, we did it. Yeah. Well, there's a hundred. It says here that there's a hundred people watching. Yes, we are so very much live. I think we're live. <laughs> <Yes>. Hi. <laughs> That's nice. Okay. Hello, everyone. A uh, little bit of technical difficulties, but we are on the road now, <clears throat> and we are ready to freaking start. <laughs> yes. All right. So, hi, everybody, and welcome to uh, this special blush and sketch crossover event. Um, I'm Steph. I'm the community strategist for blush. And today we are joined by the amazing Pablo Stanley, who is the CEO of blush and Medet. Medet, I want to make sure I don't butcher your name. It's Medet Khan Gunduz. Uh, it's John, but Khan is acceptable. Oh, John. Okay. That, that's, that's easier. It's, it's easier to say. Uh, so he, uh, Medet is the community manager at Sketch, and in today's event, Pablo is going to explore UI design uh, with kind of a macro approach, and we're going to take a look at a, uh, a UI concept that Pablo has come up with. Um, he'll go into that in a little bit. Um, and we're going to look at that in sketch and play around with it. He's going to show us basically his process. Um, and he's going to take us all on a wonderful design journey. Um, okay. <clears throat> so, and then uh, let's see here. I got all that. We're starting a little late, so I got to catch up. <laughs> um, okay, so we also are going to do a QA, Q and A. Um, and as Pablo's going, I can take a couple of questions um, just to, you know, so we can, uh, if you guys have any questions while he's working. Um, but then in the last 15 minutes or so, we're going to do a general Q and A, so you can ask him anything to your heart, your heart desires, as long as it's PG. Uh, maybe maybe PG thirteen if Paul, Pablo's feeling up to it, but let's keep it PG. <laughs> PG PG and uh, PG thirteen <laughs> uh, is okay, I think. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, uh, awesome. So, uh, so should we get started? Uh, well, <clears throat> I have a couple more announcements to make because okay. we are having a raffle. Um, so during the event, we're going to give away three sketch licenses. Um, I've got a link in the bio of the, uh, or the description of the YouTube video. So you can click on that and start signing up for it. Um, it's super easy. You just need your email address. And then after you enter, uh, you'll, you can get an additional entry by subscribing to the blush on YouTube and we will announce the winners at the end. So now we are so totally ready to start. And, uh, Pablo, let's start with just uh, introduce Blush and tell us what's what's new that's going on with Blush. Okay, so uh, well, uh, first of all, thank you, thanks everyone for being here. This is awesome, uh, and uh, we had a little bit of difficulties in the beginning, but that's the magic of being live. Mm -hmm. uh, so, <clears throat> so today we're going to be just like uh, going to do some visual design explorations with um, with a brief and we're just going to do some stuff from scratch it's just exploratory uh like playful stuff like really quick and we're going to be using sketch obviously and the blush plugin uh on this landing page so um ba, 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 ba. and uh, what's new well we're actually going to be using uh, a couple of new illustration collections from blush and and because we're going to do not just one but two different designs with the same brief, just mind explosion. We're gonna try that. By the way, I, I never, I didn't practice. I just wrote the, the the brief, the fake brief, and and we're gonna try to to see if we can actually how how far we can get. Okay, uh, and and that's it. I don't know. Like uh, Medet, do you want to say something else? Yeah, Medet, introduce yourself and, and tell us what's new with Sketch. Yeah. Uh, hey, everyone. Uh, I'm super glad to be here today with the amazing Blush team. Uh, 
we've been av- avid fans of Plush since day one, and we love everything about it, all the way from its origins and where it's heading now. And uh, being a representative of Sketch of Fernanda, I think it goes without saying that uh, we've been admiring Pablo's work for years now. Um, briefly about me, uh, I work at Sketch as community manager. Uh, I handle our uh, Sketch advocates and Sketch ambassador schemes as well as external events and community partnerships. Uh, community has always been at the very heart of Sketch and we cherish the fact that uh, we are here where we are now, uh, all thanks to our beloved community. Uh, if you think you have a project or event that might benefit from teaming up with Sketch, our doors are always open to supporting such efforts. Um, the team greatly appreciates all the community feedback and support as they help us shape the future of Sketch. And actually, speaking of the future of Sketch, uh, if you are interested in contributing uh, to the future of Sketch, uh, do look up Sketch Labs, and we will be happy to invite you to our labs where we conduct usability tests, design research, and share all the previews and updates with our members. So some news and updates about Sketch. Uh, Our latest major feature, real-time collaboration, is uh, off to a great start. And we are proud of it, uh, the way it was put together with a focus on design, uh, with a focus on, sorry, privacy, obviously designed to uh, privacy and business ethics to uh, what this means in short is uh, that we only take the data we need to make sure this feature works. And once we transfer the data to the other end, it simply disappears from our servers. We most certainly do not intend to collect or share any of our users' data. And lastly, about what's next for Sketch. Um, the bad news is I can't really say what's next for Sketch. Uh, but the good news is you don't have to wait too long. Uh, just keep your eyes peeled. Uh, keep an eye out on our socials. And uh, in about a week or so, I promise you it will be worth it. And uh, yeah, do do uh, join the raffle. Uh, but I do know that some Sketch uh, team members are joining. So guys, uh, back off. The ra- licenses are Thank not you. for you. Um, but yeah, do join the raffle. And yeah, let's get this show started. Thank you guys so much. Yay. Okay. Awesome. Ready so, to- okay. I got, a, I got our fancy background now. We are a splash of color. And I... We're ready to for Pablo to take us on this journey. Okay, cool. So let's go super quick. Okay, so uh, can you see my screen now? I suppose yeah. you can see the infinite screens now. So let me go really quickly about like what we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing a, a landing page, and right now it's just going to be visual exploration mode. It's just like really experimental. It's just like hey, putting things together not worrying too much about grids or style guides or like a like having everything perfect it's more like a putting things together quickly uh, and just like using visual design principles to put stuff together and we're going to try to make to uh, deliver two different styles with the same brief uh, at least the same brief on the content but the brief will vary obviously on the tone and the and the kind of message that we want to uh, convey uh, and yeah, so like also embrace the chaos because like this is first time we do it this way. Uh, and I think it's going to be cool. So I also sketch before this. I did my homework because I'm a responsible person. Uh, I did some sketch of like, hey, how this uh, these two uh, 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 different versions of the landing page could look. Uh, and as you can see, uh, I uh, describe them as playful and minimal. Before that, well, let's look at the brief and actually what we're going to be designing for, actually. Uh, and I have here a document. And in this document, I just put together the different things that it, this is. And by the way, like this is something that I usually recommend to anyone uh, when you are going to design something before you design something, even if it's a small feature, a small thing, try to write down the things, you know, like a, a list of the things that, that are at least the steps, you know, if, if, if you are too lazy to start even for why, at least put the things that are going to be beside the screens. But I think it's good to just like a, do that kind of work where like you're not thinking still about the pixels and about like hey, putting things together on, on, on a canvas yet, you're just putting the ideas together first. So 
so this brief, we just go about like, hey, what this is, and it's a fake project, a product called Tickle. <laughs> Oh my God. Uh, and Tickle is a revolution, revolutionary video calling app for design and code reviews. So it's like a Zoom, but it's just a specific for design and code reviews. I don't know. I don't know what it actually does, but that's, a, that's the idea behind this. And we're just going to create a landing page uh, uh, for this. And I put together the different copy that is uh, for each section. So we have the hero, uh, we have the heading, subheading, and bottom, and we have the value, a prop. We also have the heading, some copy, and also, and by the way, I put different, uh, I don't know, different uh, uh, options for the heading, and we can just select one. And also, like the features, what the features are from this app, just for that section, and then just at the end, a call to action. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. It's just like a landing page with uh, like typical sections that you will find in a landing page, like the different kinds of uh, uh, messages you will find. Uh, so uh, that's it. Now, for the style and the tone of it, I, I I went and said like, hey, you know what? Let's try two different uh, ways of doing this. One that is playful and one that is minimal. And the playful one will be like more colorful, dynamic, fun. Uh, and also like a, on the actual like uh, details on like what kind of fonts to use and what colors. Like I think uh, we can use uh, Gordita. It's a, it's a kind of a sans serif font uh, that actually we use at Blush. And also illustrations, we can use uh, Nicolation Call Amigos. And I'm going to show show those in a, in a second. And also minimal, <clears throat> uh, uh, kind of like the opposite of, <laughs> of the other one, was like a simple, austere, stoic, really like uh, text heavy, like typography heavy. Uh, and But w I think uh, there still will be room for putting illustrations and some doodles here and there. And I was thinking of using Chart Grotesque as a typeface and combine it with uh, a mono typeface, which I, I IBM Plex, which this is uh, available on as a Google font, and also I, I think IBM. And also using an illustration collection called Yuppies, uh, which is really simple, and you're going to see it, it's just black and white pretty much. Uh, so yeah, so I started putting together these things, uh, but let's just do it from scratch. Uh, and actually, I'm going to delete it. This is not what we're going to do. Just from scratch, if for scratch means blank canvas, Pablo. So uh, let's go back to our brief and let's see what we have here. Here I just put together different you copies. You really, really are embracing the chaos, Pablo. <laughs> I am embracing the chaos, yeah. Uh, and I think uh, we can select one of these. Uh, do you have a favorite? The world is a small, a smaller <laughs> with tickles. <laughs> with tickles? Uh, get together anytime, anywhere. Uh, get together anytime, anywhere. I think uh, that's like the typical type of... Uh, heading that we always see. Let me just cop double, like uh, uh, like put the, the, the copy together first, you know, just like real quickly. So let me uh, just remove this and let's just uh, bring this copy and also subheading uh, makes it simple and fun. There you go. We have a subheading. And now let's try to uh, make it a little bit uh, you know, just around here. This is going to be our hero. So on our hero, we want a heading and we want a subheading. I think a uh, or heading should be pretty big. Uh, usually, I would go with uh, something around seventy-two pixels. Uh, that's a pretty. Actually, let's go to eighty. Why not? Uh, eighty pixels. Uh, uh, the size of the text, and let's go with this text. Maybe uh, around thirty-two. And let's not make it bold, let's make it regular. And I think uh, now we can start using our actual typeface that we wanted to use. And I think for this one, I wanted to use Gordita, so I'm just going to change it to really quickly to Gordita. Gordita means, uh, <laughs> Gordita means in Spanish, fatty. Uh, it, which in, 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 Spanish, in, in English sounds a, a little bit, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, mean. But in Spanish, I, I guess sometimes it can be not as mean, like gordita, ah, bonita. Like it could be like a endearing term, like an endearing term. I, I mean, depends, like I suppose for the person, uh, how they take it. But but yeah, anyway, this that's the name of the font, the, the typeface uh, for those who are seeing gordita and, seeing, and, and having a laugh. Uh, and okay, and also let's uh, add, by the way, like we have this, and let's add one text for or CTA for a button, and let's call it get 
tickled. <laughs> that is a little bit weird, a little bit creepy or copy here. Uh, I, I did it this morning, so don't don't judge me, okay? Uh, I'm sure that you can come up with something better than that. Let's go with 18 pixels, and let's just uh, put it at the size of this, and let's put a rectangle here be, behind this, just so we can create our button. And I think uh, 12 pixels here and 24 pixels around, that should be good. That should be a good... Uh, uh, a good um, bu 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 uh, bu button. Let's, let's add a corner radius maybe of eight pixels. And let's remove our border. And we're going to uh, take care of uh, uh, colors in a, in a little bit. And I think uh, we can take the colors from the illustration. By the way, here, the line height it should be a little bit smaller. I think uh, usually when it's, a, when it's a heading, a large heading, the, the larger the heading, the smaller the line height. Uh, just like to make it a little bit tighter. And I don't know, it's like a, or eyes work that way where it, 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 it reads nicer. I think uh, it's more readable, legible, and just like feels nicer whenever that happens. And when text gets smaller, you want the line height to be actually uh, like uh, more prominent. Uh, but okay, okay, we have these things. Let's uh, change this to black just for now, just so we can change it in, in a second. And let's change this to white. Again, as you can see, I'm not really caring too much about the, the grade or anything. I'm just putting things together just as an idea uh, right now. Later, maybe like the next version of this will be a little bit more high fidelity. Uh, and let's uh, turn this into a component. Uh, 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 and let's call it button. Button one. I know this is not the best naming convention. I'm just doing it just for, again, to make it uh, real quick. And okay, around there. And now we have this. Now let's. Uh, I'm going to add uh, or uh, let's add an illustration here. Let's go back to our. Oh, actually no, the playful one. We actually had it center, and then illustrations in the bottom. That was our sketch. So let's go back to that. And actually, let, let me put this one because I think the other one was more like that, where it was like a left align and with an illustration on the right. So I'm just going to copy this thing, and we're going to change the font later. So don't worry about it for now. Let's, for now, actually, now, uh, let's center all this stuff. Let's align our text to the center. And I think if it is like this, then we can go a little bit wider with our uh, line length. Dun -dun. And let's group this, let's put it in the center. Let's put this in the center too. By the way, I'm realizing that this is this feels a little bit too thin. Let's uh, change this to bold. Yeah, and now that it's bold, I'm realizing that. Un, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Un, dos, oh, around there. By the way, can you hear the noise in the background? They're doing construction next door. <laughs> <laughs> and they're just like hammering nonstop, and I'm going insane, I'm going crazy. Oh. No, can you hear it? Or is it just in my imagination? Am I imagining those that the, the hammering? Nobody says anything, so I'm going to assume that uh, I'm just imagining it. Uh, by the way, are we still live? Are you still there? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, Pablo. That I thought because... I was communicating with you. Um, <laughs> I didn't yeah. realize that the video has to be on for the audio to also be on. So gotcha. Okay. Embracing okay. the okay. chaos. So <laughs> everyone hears you, Pablo. Can you hear the hammering? Yes. Yes, I okay. can. That is uh, very annoying, and I'm sorry. It's, a, uh, it's, imagine, okay. it's not that annoying. Um, ima imagine <laughs> it's uh, experimental music with a weird beat. Okay, now that's, <laughs> that's what you should imagine. Now, uh, let's go back to our, uh, uh, like our sketch. And as you can see here, I was trying to put like <laughs> these, these semicircles are uh, supposed to be like illustrations and like people, you know, like, hey, get together anytime, anywhere, you know? So let's, uh, let's get some people there, some illustrations of, yo, what happened? I think I clicked on something wrong. There you go. Uh, Okay, cool. So let's uh, let's put it here. Let's uh, do I don't know, like how many? Let's do multiple people. 
let's do five people, yeah. And let's put them here below. And now that they're here below, I can actually go and randomize all of them. So I'm going to, my internet is a little bit slow. And I think it's because whenever it's I'm live streaming, my computer gets like crazy slow. It, it's getting stage fright. Little bit it's of getting stage, stage fright. fright. Yeah, <laughs> I got an error there, but uh, I don't. I didn't get an error. So sometimes it just like thinks there's an error, but there isn't. Uh, okay, cool. So we have, or did you? By the way, did you see how easy that was? <laughs> yeah. that was? That was actually way too easy. It's already looking pretty good. Like I'm just going to align these a little bit better. I think. Uh, uh, so what I did, uh, maybe I did it too fast, but what I did is just like a duplicated the images and then all I did was just click the random button. So if you go to the Blush plugin, you go to plugins, Blush, by the way, you can install it, go to Blush.design and then uh, select a collection and uh, da -da. there you go. So, uh, for example, and then, for example, if I have an image already placed on the canvas, I can just click it and then I can edit it. I can keep editing it. Wow, my internet is really slow because of the, uh, because of the, uh, this thing that we're doing. Stage fright, <laughs> Stage yeah. Fright, yeah. Uh, so, like, for example, on this one, I click random, but apparently it repeated these, uh, the legs here. So I can go here and actually change them. So I can say, you know what? I want to use this one with the shorts and this one that has uh, uh, this other one that has, there was an error. You know, I think uh, like uh, since my, my internet is so slow, uh, I'm getting error messages too. So uh, let's change it to which one? Let's uh, change it to this one. And you can change anything in the illustration really quickly. You just like uh, click randomize. You can change all the little details of the illustration. Uh, and uh, I, I think it's, I, I think uh, my computer gets slow. I don't know why. Uh, this usually doesn't happen. I think it's because of the live stream. Anyway, the idea is this, like, hey, we put some illustrations. I think uh, it's getting almost there. I'm going to center it just so it looks more aligned with the text. And I think uh, I'm going to add just a little logo here uh, real quickly. And I press Command V and it's not pasting. There you go. And let's call it Tickle. And let's go all the way to uh, 18 pixels, no, 18. There you go, we have our logo up there. And I think, uh, let's not do the navigation. I think uh, uh, for for this uh, for this thing, uh, we don't have to do it, but the idea is there that, uh, that there will be a navigation there and I'm just putting it in the center. Okay, we have our first section uh, done and already put some illustrations. It's looking, I don't know, it's looking pretty good. Uh, now, if I want to, I'm going to actually uh, change the color of this. Uh, I'm going to just like, uh, I think, let me copy the color of this. I, I'm liking the color of these pants and that way it will look like similar to like our illustrations. Ooh, uh, yes, okay, cool. Open system preferences. Apparently I haven't given system, system preferences to the sketch. I just installed a newer version and I think I have to do it again. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm going to copy this color. Wow, my computer is getting unbearably slow. Sorry about that. And wow. Okay, and let's let me change the color of this little guy. It's basically the color that was coming from the illustration. And now it looks a little bit more, I don't know, it, it, it looks more cohesive, you know, that everything goes together uh, with black and, and that color. Now let's try to do the same, but on this side. So <laughs> now on this one, I, I was thinking of using two different fonts, Sharp Grotesque and IBM X uh, uh, Mono. So I'm going, just going to change uh, this one to uh, Sharp Grotesque. There you go. I really love this typeface. It's, uh, 
it's just that, uh, I, I don't know, like the, the boldness of it and how crazy, like uh, how, uh, 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 like the different letters like uh, work together. Like for example, the T and the the I, you see how the I, the dot in the I, like, uh, like blends in with uh, with this uh, with the eye, with uh, anyway. I I really love this one, and I think it makes for uh, makes it, it goes well with a with a site that is like text heavy. If you're going to have a, a text heavy site, well, might as well have a beautiful font, right? And it just like that it has a, a point of view, really strong point of view, because like the text is already that way. It's it's or it, the text is going to be predominant on your side, so it might as well that typeface to be have a really strong point of view. Uh, and so anyway, I'm going to go since it's text heavy. I'm going to go with something a little bit bigger. Uh, actually, let me go uh, like this, and let me let me actually let's go to 96. And uh, uh, and I'm going to uh, make it, and let's change. Wow, my computer is slow as hell. Sorry about that. Wow, I click on something, and it doesn't appear until, like, uh, I don't know. Like, it takes a long time to open anything. It's, it's just like the real design process, you know? <laughs> Things are gonna go slow when you don't want, need them to, when you don't want them to. You got a deadline coming up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but uh, I don't know. Like I, I usually I'm faster than <laughs> this. <laughs> but uh, uh, so by the way, like here I'm using the scale tool, and uh, I'm thinking that this side could use uh, dynamic uh, uh, sizing of the of the fonts. So like it. It would just like a do uh, the sizing of the font will depend on the viewport height, and that way it's actually shrinking and growing, and that's why I felt comfortable enough to actually use in the scale tool uh, tool because the typeface will scale also on the actual implementation. That's how I'm imagining it. Uh, and let's go to one forty eight. There you go. And now we have this one, and let's go over here and actually. Uh, let me just go and create a new, uh, another button that we can use on this style. And let's call it button two. Again, this is not the best way to create things, but I'm just using this uh, really simple way of creating the components just for demo purposes. And right now we're only focusing on the visual exploration. And let me change this typeface to use also sharp grotesque. Once we have all these things, I think uh, it's going to be a little bit faster too. Because now, wow. Wow. Okay, we have uh, this. Uh, I changed the typeface on this. Wow, come on, man. Just, there you go. And now let's make this button adjust to the size to fit the size. And there you go. Now we have button two available. And now I can change this to button two. And there you go. Now we have, oop, let me, oh, but this one is, uh, I, I scaled it. So if you scale it, then you have to also change the size of this. There you go. Dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. And so I'm supposed to be embracing the chaos, but I still want to put things <laughs> like yeah. in an eight pixel grid. I still managing. have. Uh, okay, so this is a uh, this is like the idea that I had. It's just like almost like almost all black and white, text heavy on this one, and I. But I also want to use an illustration, so I was thinking of using juppies for this one. So I'm going to go ahead and, and open blush. And it's, oh my God, it's slow as hell. Ah, we have to. Uh, Roey from chat says it's not so terrible that it's slow because um, that's how you understand better. Okay, there you go. That's uh, that's that's good to know. Uh, that's uh, a great way to, of seeing it. <laughs> so I'm going to use this collection called Yapis by Irene Falguera. Uh, I think it was released like a two, two weeks ago, and it's really cool because 
like all the illustrations are really simple, the characters and everything, and they're black and white, but they're like, there's some splashes of color here and there that I think uh, make it really, I don't know, like a stand out even when it's just like so austere and, and, and simple. But I'm going to use one of these uh, characters and I was thinking of using this one that is just sitting. I'm going to put a character here and I was thinking my design was uh, saying that I should put it like in the corner, almost like in an absolute position, like coming from the corner here. Let's randomize it and see what the randomize uh, gives us. It's a little bit mad. I don't know. Get together. I, I don't think it's it's that. Uh... There you go. That's a little bit happier. <laughs> uh, I, I like this one, the fluffy top. And I'm going to use that one. And I'm going to, uh, let's put another one, but let's make it a little bit uh, uh, command shift R. Let me rotate it. And well, it's getting together. So it has to be more than one person, right? So let's randomize this one and let's have another illustration here. And let's do, again, let's change the hair and let's change the expression. Da -da. Da -da -da. Let's change it to this one. Apparently it's the same as the other one. Yeah, it's similar. Uh, let's do the one that's sending a kiss. Maybe not appropriate at a workplace. Uh, to be sending kisses. I don't know. Maybe maybe that's your form of communication. I don't know. I don't know what the culture is at your workplace. But apparently <laughs> here in this one, the little kisses, they're more of a showing of appreciation. Appreciation. Where it's like, hey, well done. <laughs> uh, let's do this guy with a, well, this person with a mustache. I, I really like. So we have that. Let's, uh, obviously, if you have a mustache, you need to have a hat. So let's put a hat here. <laughs> and hold on, did I, oh, I didn't select the mustache one. I think I selected the, the one that it was like pleased. There you go. I'm, I'm, I don't know, I'm liking this. Let me uh, organize these a little bit better. I think, uh, again, the idea here is like on implementation to put them in a, uh, almost like an absolute position way where everything scales. So you're always going to get at least that's how I'm imagining it, put it on the actual CSS and everything, where all of this actually scales up and down in uh, with the size of the uh, of the viewport. So the positioning of these elements will also scale uh, and they will stay in place. That's that's how I'm imagining. So, and, and that's how I'm imagining it, like working on responsive too. So get together anytime, anywhere. Well, I, th I suppose we need something that says the name of the company somewhere, right? So let's have, put it up there. And let's put it uh, maybe at uh, 60. That's too big. Let's go a little bit smaller. Let's uh, make it the size of this and let's uh, remove the line height. There you go. I'm liking this. I think, uh, yeah, I'm liking this. What do you think, Steph? What do you think, Medet? Are we liking this the style yes. so far? Yes, 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 yeah. yes. Definitely makes the point. Yeah, so same brief where the brief, the tone changes, right? The tone changes in like, A1 is like playful, let's make it a uh, fun. And, and the other one is like, A, hey, let's keep it minimal here. I, I would say that this one is not playful enough, uh, but we can get a, a, a little bit uh, weird with that. Actually, let's get a little bit weird. I, th I was thinking maybe we can do what should we do? Maybe we can add uh, like a curve, you know, like behind. So I'm just going to uh, uh, press V for vector and I'm going to start creating a curve here below. Color of this curve could be applied with SVG on your implementation. So once you implement it, then you apply this as a background or you can make it with code, and then that will blend in into the next section. So let's uh, let's change this where it doesn't have a border, but it does have a fill. Let's add a fill, and maybe we take a color from our illustration. I like this yellow, and maybe we make it a little bit lighter. Just that same yellow, that same hue, but we just like uh, change it to be a little bit lighter and a little more vibrant too. So let's put it all the way below. There you go. It's looking a little more fun, more dynamic and colorful. 
It's that friendship is, that is, yellow. What's that? Friendship yellow. Yeah. By the way, it, it is yellow, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes, uh, sometimes I don't see the colors. Okay. Let's make this a little bit taller. Now we have to make our next section. I, how are we doing on time, by the way? Maybe we only do one section more. Uh, yeah, I think we can maybe do one more section. One more section. Come on. We already have the typeface. We already have all that stuff. So it should be easy. Come on. Come on. Come on. We already got the concept down. Yeah. 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 This should be piece of cake. Is that how you say it? Is that the expression? Yeah. Yes. English is my second language. So I really struggle with idioms where idioms and sayings and stuff like that i will always mix them up <laughs> like really bad <laughs> and so it's always embarrassing because like i would say like yeah uh i don't know the other day i i like the tables have turned or like is, is that a saying the tables have turned yeah that's yeah a saying. hold on well i said it wrong once i think <laughs> now i learned the right way but i said it wrong once and i think uh, the tables have something else uh i think I, I i mess it up with something else about the the waves are coming the tables are coming i think i said <laughs> and i was like what oh what gosh. did you just say Paula? the tables are coming oh, yeah no. that's very <laughs> ominous <laughs> yeah exactly and, and i was trying to to say like hey yeah things have changed uh and people were like oh my god but well things have changed for the worse i guess uh that was not my intention uh that i always do that anyway okay so we are doing our next section and our next section i'm going to do like uh changing the color of the background on this one since this is the minimal brutalist austere stoic one i'm going with black background and we let's go back to our design and our design we're saying that a we have an illustration on the right and we have the value prop on the left and on this one we have the value prop on the right and then some illustration like floating or something in a square i don't know we'll see sometimes trying to make things simpler it's actually more complicated. Whoa. <laughs> Come on, you have to say Pablo. That's genius. That's, oh my God. There's your wisdom for today. What's that? There's your wisdom for today. I I I I, I you cut a little bit for me. What do you say, Medet? Sorry, can you repeat it again? Oh, uh, I was just saying there's your wisdom quote for today. Oh, yes, of course. That is my, my wisdom quote for, for the day. Uh, now, you can leave and go, like, I learned something today. I didn't learn anything about design or UI, but I learned an inspirational quote that might not help me on anything in my life. Uh, but it's something. That's, uh, that's what you get. Okay, cool. So let's, uh, let's change. I'm actually just going to change the text size of these. And uh, number one, I'm thinking that these two should, uh, Command-G, Command-Shift-G, there you go. Let's, align, let's make them smaller. This title, this one was, was like pretty big and it was good for, for the hero section, but I, I don't think we want it to be that big now on the sections on the actual uh, ones. That, on, I think it can go all the way down to 24 now that it's like copy text. Uh, on the hero, usually like things can be a little bit bigger. Uh, so sometimes you use a, a style that is a specific for like display sizes. Uh, at least that's what I do and what I've seen others doing. doing. But once you get into the content, you get uh, like you, you are consistent with your, your styles where you like your heading and your subheading and your copy uses the same styles. So I'm going to say actually, I think a 24 is actually still too big. Let's go with uh, 18. Yo, I cannot write. Let's go with 18. Let's make it ooh, too big. Nobody's going to read this, but no, you iterate later. Let's uh, go with uh, 56 on the line height. Once you have this, then I would recommend a hey, start putting together your text style. Context it starts feeling good. Then start with the style guide first which is for a lot of people, it's crazy talk. Uh, but I start with the style guide first and then I start adapting it in context. Uh, but anyway, build for remote teams. Let's actually go dun 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 dun. It's uh, 
my computer I did is I clicked on the plugin for blush and then it opens this and let's go to the collection called Amigos again, which is the one we selected for this design. And let's select an, an illustration that reflects this, built for remote teams. And I think uh, we have uh, like for pretty good, like for example, we can, or this one, or this one, for example, Design Jam. Uh, yeah, and let's actually make it a little bit small. Hang on time. We're good, we got five more <gasps> minutes. Oh my God, okay, get in there and actually like customize everything from it. You can cast like, hey, uh, do everything. For example, let's change the hair of this person. I'm going to go with the one that is like super flowy. And look at that, it changed over here too. Uh, and by the way, right now I'm using PNG medium, but whenever you're ready, you can just change it to SVG too. You change it to SVG and now you'll be ready to export it as vector. So, okay, I'm liking that. You can go in there and change it too if you want to explore other things instead of Design Jam. You can say like, hey, you know what? Instead of Design Jam, let's go with uh, this one that is like that is called Shapes and it has two people. And boom, you have another one. Or maybe the one that is called Working From Home because like, hey, it's built for remote teams too. And you know what? Now I'm seeing that the shirt on that person is not contrasting that well. So I can go in there and change the color of the outfit. You know, instead of uh, yellow, let's uh, go with this one. And I think it's going to stand out a little bit more. You see that? Like uh, what changed there? The, the shirt. It used to be yellow and the yellow background. It, it wasn't uh, it, it, it wasn't doing its, its best. And I think uh, now that we have that, we can create our own composition. For example, uh, uh, I'm going to duplicate this one actually, and I'm going to go back to 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 the collection, and I'm going to you know let's say that it's like a this person is talking to someone else the video call, and I'm going to oh my god, why are you so slow computadora? Por qué me haces esto? Por qué por qué por qué? There you go. So let's let's put three people. You know, like he's in a, this person is in a video call. So let's mimic like uh, three illustrations of different people in our video call. So let's randomize this. There you go. So now look at that. We have uh, we have a composition that we made on the fly. You know, like we used one of the base scenes that already pre-built, and then we added this so that now it looks like it's a. Uh, built for remote teams, you know, like this person is having a conversation with these three people. And apparently uh, they all have beards and this person has a, a weird beard. <laughs> anyway, you can go in there and edit each illustration once you're ready and then turn it into SVG and export it all together once you're ready. That's a, that's a cool thing about using Sketch with Blush because then you can create your own compositions like this. Uh, now let's do the same over here. Let's do it super quickly. We can do this, we can do this, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You can put the, like a, a timer, you know, like a bomb timer. <laughs> and and let's see if we. Uh, I don't know if you need that extra pressure, Pablo. <laughs> no, 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 I need it. You know, like sometimes uh, we work better under pressure. Under pressure. Is that how the, the <laughs> is that how the, the, the song goes? The queen song? Yeah. And let's change song. this to IBM Plex. By the way, I recommend this uh, IBM Plex. I think uh, if you haven't used it, you are going to love it. Uh, it's a mono typeface that, I don't know. They're, they have a, a mono typeface and they also have uh, an, uh, like a sans serif that it's, I don't know, beautiful, I will say. So I highly recommend it. Cool, look, I'm liking this. Let's go with Command K and let's scale this. Again, this is a text heavy side. So the text sizes would uh, potentially like uh, scale with the size of the, the viewport. That's how I'm imagining it. Oops, Command K just to scale. And look at that. I love uh, being able to just like scale because like then like I, I get things in, in, in place. And then later you can get in there and actually change the pixel because I'm pretty sure we have, we're we getting decimals here. So you don't want to have decimals on your text, uh, on, on your font sizes, but uh, this uh, helps you just uh, uh, getting almost there, you know? Okay, cool. Now let's change, uh, let's add an illustration. 
that we are using Juppies, and let's see if we have a scene that we can use, okay? So I'm going to open the Blush plugin again. <gasps> oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. How are we doing? We're good. Uh, yeah. You know, just finish this, what you're doing, and, and then we're going to go to the Q&A, so. No okay, pressure. cool. So we, we have questions coming, it sounds yes. like. Okay, cool. So let's, uh, and are people voting on the questions or something? No, we're no? not that okay. fancy. Well, we're, <laughs> Everyone, we're, everyone's questions have equal weight. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes. Okay. Last illustration. Let's, let's, let's see if we have a scene that works for this one. And I think, uh, working. Yeah, there you go. Look, remote. <laughs> this one is already pretty good. Remote workout. <laughs> Apparently, remote workout. So this person is. Oh no! I work. I like this one. The the one that is called working remotely. So let's let's see it here. This one is apparently like people are making doing yoga. <laughs> let's use this one. Wow, this is actually perfect. I didn't know this one existed. It's already it's already there almost. Uh, so uh, you can get in there and you can adjust it. Put it there if you want to change something in the colors. Uh, by the way, let me say that this is uh, a mask. Hold on, where is the where is the mask thing thingy? Customize toolbar. Oh my god, I'm I ran out of time. Okay, <laughs> this this is it. Well, uh, what I wanted to do is uh, wow is uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to just do it by making the size of the container uh, smaller since we are only were able to do this. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, once you turn it into SVG, uh, you can get in there and actually edit things on the SVG too. For example, if I wanted to remove that background, you can do that if you turn the illustration to SVG. And let me just demo that really quickly, okay? And dun, 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 blush is opening, blush is opening. So for example, everything is there, but I want to change the composition of it a little bit. So I'm going to go and uh, I'm going to turn it into, I just select it, it selects it here, and then I can just go in here and say, you know what, turn it into SVG. And now, now it's SVG. And as you can see, now that it's SVG, is not an image anymore. You actually have all the different elements are here. So if you want to change something, for example, like, hey, I want to change the position of this, you can change the position of that stuff too. Like, uh, like that's the that's a cool thing about like uh, uh, using SVG uh, because like then you have control over everything. For example, I don't want that background on my composition. I can just remove it. And but I do like that background here, so I can just keep it. And, and yeah, you can just keep editing stuff, you know, like once they are SVG, I'm going to actually make these a little bit smaller. And there you go. Excellent. Anyway, that's the demo. The demo yeah. is like a same brief, different styles, and then how you can do this, all of this with Sketch, and uh, you can use Blush as a tool that allows you to just like do these kinds of explorations. And once you're ready, you can export it as SVG2 and this production ready, where like really easily, like I'm pretty sure, I, I don't know, I feel like a, really quickly, we got together two uh, kind of almost there. <laughs> they need a lot of work, but like two like uh, explorations that, that feel like they're getting somewhere, you know, with the brief that we got. Uh, and okay, that's, uh, I'm going to stop sharing. Excellent. Thank you, Pablo. That was real fun. Um, so I wanted to announce before we get into the Q&A that, uh, that the raffle is going to close in about five minutes. So if you haven't entered, go ahead and do that now. The link is in the description. We're, we're giving a, a license? Like we're a giving out license? three uh, sketch licenses. The sketch licenses? And what about a blush license? Oh, we didn't set up our own uh, raffle, but we can. Do well, that we maybe should. Next like whoever time. wins, we can give them a. Oh, a you want to bundle for... it? We can bundle it. Yeah, we. Yeah. Well, why not? Let's go for it. I mean, if we bundling, know their emails. Last minute call to action. We're bundling 
sketch and blush licenses. <laughs> yeah, come on, let's 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 get them uh, uh, adding doodles to their whatever they make to create. Let's okay, get. let's get to some questions uh, since we don't have. To, we started like five minutes late, so it, we went a little bit five minutes over. So that it makes it makes some sense. Uh, but let's get to the Q and A. So Ruby Star ninety two has asked, uh, how much does UX design influence UI design for you, Pablo? How much UX design influence UI design? Mm -hmm. Where they're both part of the same. They're both design. I think uh, uh, the separation. I think it it comes from like a the idea that it, that one focuses on the I suppose the visual and one focuses more on the experience. Uh, I think the experience needs visuals too, <laughs> and the visuals. Are nothing without they're meaningless if they if there's not a brief and an intention and like a message to deliver. So they they both influence each other. They they're not. I mean, you can you can do exclusively like a what a style might be, but it's nothing if there's no if there isn't an intention behind. It. And that's where the the UX part comes right where like a what what audience are we making for what are what are the goals uh, that we're trying to achieve with this product what is the message what is like what what is the flow what is the what are the things that we're uh, trying to make a, a people uh, a, a achieve like one goes with the other and and when you know that that like you still need to communicate a message in a clear way. And for that, UI and visual design like helps you communicate that. I think, uh, and again, one depends on the other. Uh, there, so so yeah. To answer the question, how much it influences, it influences in everything, and the other one influences the other too. I think. Excellent. Uh, this is kind of a technical question, so. Uh, Start Scrappy asks, if you're using photographs instead of blush app, even though we should all be using the blush app all the time, uh, would you remove the backgrounds from the images to prevent having a rectangular shape around uh, media, mm -hmm. or would you change the layout? It, it depends. Is it a nice background? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if it's a nice background that goes with the message that I'm trying to convey, then maybe I will try to keep the background and try to make the design work with it. Uh, I think, uh, uh, but it all, it's just, uh, I don't know, it depends on what you're trying to, to do. If it is uh, 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 about like a, a specific object and you want in your visual design for that object to blend in with the rest of the, uh, of the composition on the layout, uh, maybe you want to separate it. And that way you have more freedom on how you build, like whatever color you do on the HTML, on the actual implementation, like it doesn't affect too much the, 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 the image. Uh, I think it, it really just depends on like what, what you're trying to achieve. Like sometimes like if you, uh, sometimes doing the rectangle or even that like f looks good if you, master a, a way of like a putting it together where I didn't cut it and it feels like, oh, uh, like maybe it will look like lazy that I didn't cut the image, but like actually making it good mm -hmm. without cutting and then putting text on top of, each, of, of stuff, like that requires actually a lot of work just to make it like feel and look good and still transmit the message. So it really just depends on what you're trying to achieve. Uh, 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 yeah, and what the image is. Some some images you cannot. There's not really a subject uh, that you can just extract. Maybe it's everything blends in. So maybe in that case, uh, and, and sometimes like the backgrounds don't, don't don't work that well. And like people notice when it's a bad cut, you know, when it's yeah. a bad Photoshop cut. Yeah, you think they don't? They they do. They 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 see your your bad Photoshop skills. So if <laughs> if you don't have the the best Photoshop skills. By the way, now machine learning do, does all that stuff too. So, but even even then, like sometimes the, the results are not great. So, yeah, I would say if you are a master of that, like go for it, and only also if the 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 design requires it. But if not, try to work with the image and just like be a, a purist. 
All right, we had a question here from Tosh um, or Tash. Uh, so Tash asks, um, have we used some collaboration tool, uh, Blush is, is a company, have we used uh, some collaboration tool compatible with Sketch um, to keep uh, our design files with your designers, um, such as abstracts, um, just organizing and um, how does that work? Well, now you can do all of this with Sketch, right, Medet? Because like uh, the the latest release uh, from Sketch includes collaboration, like collaboration. So maybe you can tell us more of how you can do this. Like, how can everyone keep in sync and work together in the same file, Medet, using Sketch? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, as long as all you all your files and uh, all your all your designs are included in your Sketch workspace uh, on the cloud. Uh, you can just simply invite anyone uh, from your team uh, to collaborate on that same document, and then you can take it from there. Uh, then it would be much easier to just uh, export it and share it with the stakeholders, like get comments on it uh, and stuff like that. Yeah, uh, and uh, another question we often get asked uh, in conjunction with this is, um, even before we uh, an announced, like, launched uh, real-time collaboration was, uh, would abstract still work? Um, yeah, the answer is actually abstract still does work, but the difference is abstract uses it, uh, stores the files locally as opposed to us uh, storing them on our cloud. And we need uh, to have, we need you to have access to cloud uh, to use real-time collaboration. So there's a difference in that, in those. Uh, so at least, oh, oh, coming back pretty, uh, this is like an organization question. So I have one from Jose and one from Brune. Um, so how do you organize your fonts? And then also how do you decide on names for your layers? How do you decide on, on what the layers? The names of your layers to keep yourself organized. The names of your layers. Uh, I think, uh, the layout defines what the names of the layers are. I think uh, usually creating uh, groups and components that are organized in, like the components are, are organized in groups uh, and, and those groups come from, you can come from a more general way and then like a diving deeper into the smaller components. Uh, I think that's one way of doing it. Sometimes it's more like the, the opposite where you start from smaller components that have details and then that's, that's on your, uh, like on your root. Uh, I would say that that sounds a little bit too crazy, but I, but I don't know. I've seen people doing it that way. I think it's something that you need to discuss with also with your developers. For example, at Blush, we just went through this, uh, um, like we realized that our design files and our implementation, like they were called differently. And like we will say something and then uh, the engineers will say something else. And we're like, ah, well, yeah, I guess they're the same, right? Uh, so I think it's 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 a discussion that you want to have as a team too, uh, and not just designers, but like a, everyone else that is involved in the product development. Where like, so let's see what <gasps> I hear. Receiving an email, I guess. Yes, uh, the stream cut out, and you didn't hear. Nope. Just I can I know. You hear you well. Yeah, maybe. It's their fault. Yeah. Okay, um, thank you so much. Yeah, thanks everybody for joining. Um, so we have the clubhouse that's later today. And I also wanted to um, tell you guys that we have a new series coming up to keep an eye out for um, Roast My Portfolio is what it's called, Roast My Portfolio. Uh, we're going to be accepting submissions from the community and destroying them for the greater good with special guests. Um, for more on that and how to submit, you can join the Blush community at community.blush.design. And I will also put a link to that in the comments or the uh, chat as well. Um, but awesome. yeah, thanks for everybody for joining us and going on this. Thank you. Adventure. Thank you so All much. Right. Thank you, Medet, for being here. And thank you, uh, Steph, for hosting us. And uh, yeah, this was awesome. Cool. Thank you both. Great. All right. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye, everybody.